the my favorite TCE single is on the B flat horn. <laughs> And can you feel your face, how much it's working to change the harmonic? Are you hearing that too? This is good. We're getting some good stuff. Have you ever just sighed and released your corners? Yeah, now your corners are released. Uh, so imagine playing with your corners released. See if you can do that. Cheeks will puff out, corners released. Your cheat, your corners are muscularly engaging. This is a tricky one. So go ahead and just do a sigh where you release your corners. Like that. So those, that's tense corners. Right. That's not tense corners. Do you see the difference? Yes. So are you aware that you can play horn with relaxed corners? You can you can look my corners are doing nothing no corners right no corners the the thing is it's not so much that playing without corner activation is important or great technique. It's that most of us overuse our corners to try and control the pitch rather than to stabilize the sound. <laughs> and so what you're doing as you're trying to change is that you're introducing all this tension in your facial muscles that's not actually necessary. It's like clenching your toe if you're trying to lift something off your desk. It doesn't help. It actually inhibits because we have these myofascial lines connecting things all throughout our body. So if you stiffen in your leg, that means that you have less stretch in your arm. So it's the same thing when we when we have all when we stiffen all here, we get less freedom of flexibility everywhere. And not only that, but there's lines connecting these muscles to here in the base of the throat. So if you really tense your face, notice yeah, notice what happened. You feel that in your neck? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Yeah, it feels like it's that, and that's what creates the head exploding high horn phenomenon. When you feel like your head's going to explode, you can't play high any higher.